Scorpio. So let's jump straight into it and see what comes up. Five cards for Scorpio love. Aries has come up twice here for some of you and also a Libra. So you might notice these signs come into your life uh, for some of you. Now look, uh, the Magician, there's new beginnings starting here. I do want to say there could be some sort of trials or tribulations coming up in relationships. And I say that because the Five of Pentacles is here, which is a kind of feeling somewhat shut out. Okay, feeling um, like you're not heard. There could be an Earth sign here who might feel like they're not being heard from you. Uh, there could be someone here who feels like they're um, not receiving the same treatment. So there's lack of reciprocity here. You can see these people are injured. Um, or overwhelmed in some way so there might be someone here who's feeling overwhelmed by actions maybe the pacing of a relationship um, but I do feel like they're going to come to you because there is a union of some kind or people coming together um, expressing themselves reaching out reaching out in help uh, reaching out you know letting you know um, certain areas where they feel they're not being heard so there could be someone who's feeling depleted mentally energetically emotionally um, it can be any sign. It can even be you, Scorpio. You might be feeling um, this way throughout the month. Um, the Justice card is here. So I feel like there is um, legalities around relationships coming up with the Justice card. So signing a lease together, buying a home together, um, entering into a civil partnership, uh, divorce. Okay, if some of you are going through divorce, um, you've got a good omen here with the Three of Pentacles, which is about negotiation and compromise and sacrifice. So um, there's a lot of offers or counter offers or a bit of back and forth. But for the most part, there could be a lot of fairness as indicated by the uh, the, the scales that are, are, are evenly balanced. So um, if you're going through that this month here, Scorpio, this could be a good sign here um, that your partnership would weigh up and, and you'll be able to receive quite a bit of money. You've got the knight and the nine or assets um, in your favor. Um, because this is a contract card, I, I feel like anything to do with changes in immigration status, um, if you're waiting on a partner to get a green card or get the green light to come be with you, if you're wanting to go um, live with them, if they live further afield, um, this could be an indicator here that that might happen. Uh, the Justice card is, it, it, it is a union, okay? It is a partnership. So a lot of you will um, either meet someone you'll end up entering into a partnership with or somehow have exclusivity. Um, or you're thinking more about relationships, wanting to attract more relationships. And I definitely feel like there will be potential suitors here for you, Scorpio. Um, could be going on multiple dates here with the Three of Pentacles. So people might be reaching out um, and trying to plan something here for you. There's, It's almost like, because there's an archway, it's almost like an open door. So if there's someone here that you've had your eye on or you've wanted to connect to, with, um, and maybe it wasn't the right time before. Um, maybe you were waiting for an opening of some kind. That three could definitely indicate there's an opening um, for some of you. There could definitely be a little bit of complications here. There could be work romances or someone that's interested in you. Um, and, and you might have a partner here. Three of Pentacles, three cups that are spilt here. There could be... Um, what may seem a third party situation on the horizon here so orbiting around you so there could be someone showing you interest especially if you are coupled up or you already have someone who's caught your eye there could be someone else and isn't that always the case here Scorpio when it rains it pours so I feel like that might be coming up for some of you um Again, it could be someone reaching out, wanting to persuade you of something. It's the artisan persuading these people of his craftsmanship, his goods, services, and what he can bring. So it's almost like someone is pleading their case with you, um, or you might find yourself pleading your case, um, you know, showing your value uh, to someone else, okay? Um, Aries has come up twice here, so with the Magician, things could happen fairly quickly, the magician can manifest things instantaneously, so things in relationships can come to the surface quite quickly, uh, whether it's discussions, um, moving in together, sacrifice, um, feeling depleted. The magician, for the most part, can be quite a fast-paced energy and sometimes can leave us a bit overwhelmed or mesmerized, and it's sort of like we're trying to catch our breath here. So 
Um, there is offers on the table, or there's someone bringing you know bringing a lot to the table here. So qualities, words, things that they like to express to you, um, that appears to be occurring for a lot of you with that magician card here. You also have the Knight of Pentacles, so I definitely feel like there is a stability, uh, there's an offer of stability here. Um, he's at a standstill here, so that could be someone who's very happy where you are in a relationship. Maybe it's an earth sign here, it can be any sign really, but this person might be happy where things are going and maybe they just want to stand still. Again, this links me back to the Nine of Pentacles, which is a card of being very present in the moment, not rushing anything and just absorbing everything and, and taking it in and enjoying it just as it is. So the fact that that has come up, there could be someone who wants things to stand still, okay? Um, maybe you've rushed things before, maybe you're wanting more, maybe they're wanting more, but there is an energy of the Nine of Pentacles is, is quite deeply rooted and to know that he or she is happy where they are says a lot. That they're at a place where they feel quite safe or welcomed or stable in your current connection. Whatever that may be. Marriage or just courting or dating or seeing each other um, or just gaining exclusivity. Uh, whatever it is, there is someone here who is satisfied to be in that position here. Um, okay. But there could also be someone who gifts you something this month as a token of, of your relationship um, in commemoration to your union, like a promise ring, um, a gift of some kind, a talisman, something that's symbolic of their love or their um, commitment to you. Okay. Let's have a look and see what comes up in terms of career, Scorpio. Okay, you've got the Death card and the Ace of Cups. This is very powerful. The Death card is you, Scorpio. So massive changes in career or destined things happening for the Scorpio. The Death card can be transition, transformation, endings and new beginnings. It can also herald the past coming back in. Um, okay, past ideas, people that you used to work with, past employers, um, past childhood dreams. Okay, things that you've wanted to do or be or have maybe in your former year. Um spirituality even some of you are, uh, are going to be more connected with what you want to do in your life or, or your life purpose and career uh, the death card can be the subconscious so it might be that your subconscious is trying to communicate with you through dreams memories thoughts visions affirmations that might be resurfacing for you here as well but for a lot of you you've got the beautiful ace of cups which is a brand new chapter for the water sign which is you um this is very powerful Aces often indicate new beginnings and major chapters in our lives, and this one has come up in your career. So either meeting a new person, it could be a fellow Scorpio, who did have Aries or Leo. Um, it could also be a creative opportunity because water signs tend to be quite creative. Um, they draw inspiration from their emotions, um, their vivid imagination, creativity, uh, to conjure up stories, um, designs, and, and things of that nature here. So for a lot of you, it could definitely be a creative endeavor um, or a more, it's a new path, but it's more emotionally linked to what you want to do. So it could be helping other people. It could be social work. It could be working with clairvoyancy, where, you know, working with finances, whatever it is. I think it's something to do that emotionally it resonates with you more. It has some sort of appeal here. Or it could be very emotionally rewarding as well. But this is your cup overflowing. The bird often indicates a messenger of some kind. So uh, the angel is a messenger. So there is a message, a very important one coming. Um, a message of a new chapter, a new beginning or something new. You've got a couple of pages around you here. You've got the page of pentacles and the page of wands. So this could be two people. Uh, it could be an earth and a fire sign. Maybe someone less experienced than you. Um, okay, pages are, are still learning. Sometimes they're apprentices. Sometimes they're um, in a position where they don't know a lot, but they're there to learn. So you might have new people coming on board into the company, um, working for your business. You might be hiring new talent. You might find talent in um, unexpected places here as well, Scorpio. You might even be scouted. Um, but the page of pentacles, there's a lot of focus and concentration on that pentacle here. 
So I'm thinking there might be an incentive or bonus scheme that might be introduced in the workplace for some of you. Um, that could be the case here. And then you have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is a traveler, okay? He's definitely a mover and a shaker. So I definitely feel that travel opportunities are coming up around work or creative um, spheres. Or you might travel and then see a new chapter that might pop up or be offered to you um, sometime in the month. Could be a fire sign as well. But the Page of Wands is deeply passionate. He's an explorer. He does a lot of research. So there could be a lot of research and analytics. You're diving deep into something, investigating it here. Could be an investigation into the business, the company, the board, um, a, a review of some kind, um, analytics, um, overseeing something here. The Seven of Pentacles often indicates deep contemplation, reflection, um, savings. Yes, it could be monetary gains as well coming through. Um, it's accumulating it could also be collecting resources or getting together with a large team of some kind as well. Um, getting a large team together for the purposes of, of, of money or expansion or overlooking budgets, profit margins. Someone might be, um, if you're in a role where you're earning uh, bonuses or incentives or working towards targets, uh, that could be applicable. You might be over, uh, overseeing these in a different way here uh, for some of you. Um, if you're purchasing a property of some kind or an asset or something that's going to cost you a large amount of money, you might have to do more uh, assessing of finances and things like that. Or it could even be the past earns you some money. And it, if it is money that you're entitled to from the past here, Scorpio, that could be coming in with the death card here. Um, in terms of financial gain, that could definitely be the case for a lot of you. But I do feel if you are um, opening up a new chapter here in career or business, there could be someone here who's assessing how far you've come in your career uh, so far. This could be uh, analogized as skills, skill set, experience, years experience, and things of that nature here. So that could also be the case here with that seven and that ace together. But definitely endings, moving on, okay, changing departments, changing roles, and opening up of new chapters in regards to career. So that's very exciting. Um, I will leave it at that though, Scorpio. Take care, everyone.